Wow. One meter ninety eight new PB. Tell us all about it. Yeah, so the one ninety eight was on my bucket list for this season. Uh, with the one ninety six clearances I had at the start of the year, I knew that there was more in there. So uh, after jumping two times in Sweden and having a good transition from Australia to Europe, I came over um, to Germany for a high jump only meeting. So that is where um, they have music and people surround the high jump bags, COVID safe, of course. But, um, and then you choose your own song to jump to. It just worked out perfect. I, um, I felt good and I went into the competition and thought um, anything's possible. And I, I just had the faith to, to just go for it, you know, start high and continue jumping and the people were there to support me and without even noticing how high the bar was I was just having so much fun and we did 198 and attempted 201 which would have been the the world best this year so yeah I was I was super thankful and I just I enjoyed every moment of it. I think I know what the answer will be but tell me what your other highlights were while you were over there. The Diamond League win in Brussels was uh, just, it meant a lot because I, I'd competed there three years in a row now and it was a familiar track. And so to continually jump higher and better and um, perform when needed. And then Croatia was a really big highlight for me because, uh, yeah, just because my, my mum is Croatian. So I uh, had so many family members watching the TV that night and they got bragging rights because they're like, yes, this is our second cousin. <laughs> uh, so, uh, yeah, I, I was, I was just, it was, that was just a blessing. I, I've always wanted to do that. How do you feel about the competition like your opponents? Um, we just saw in Rome finishing third, another fantastic competition. Congratulations. But the two Ukrainians. To be in that um, caliber of athletes where these girls are jump, have jumped over two meters so many times, uh, to just be around them is, is incredible. And they're younger than me, but um, I'm, so, I'm just so inspired by them. I have so much to learn from them. So to be around that type of company is really motivating then for me to go back home and train hard because I see yeah, like it is possible to be clearing two meters by a solid 10 centimeters. <laughs> um, and I know I'm not there yet, but I think I can be soon. How are Europeans coping? Because there's been a second wave, hasn't there? And uh, how do you feel? And how, what, what's the vibe? Have you been able to gauge how everyone's feeling? Yeah, it's everyone tries the best that they can. Um, but also we're all human. So there's... Um, I think I got over the, the fear aspect of coronavirus. Just, you have to be smart. Um, and I think everyone's in that circumstance as well. People are still able to go for walks and they're still able to buy their groceries and there's still toilet paper on the shelves. Like there's a, <laughs> there's a um, life is still going on. Is there any indication on when you might be able to come, come home? Well, with the announcement, um, I think it was a few days ago saying that there was more flights coming into Sydney. I'm hoping to get on a flight, but uh, it's, it's tough. They, they said to me, if you come over to Europe, it's going to be very hard to come back home. First attempt at 191. Oh, that's nice. That's tidy. She is an athlete in form. I mentioned that she'd uh, equaled her personal best of 196 in Canberra. That was back in February in the Australian summer. She jumped 193 in Stockholm. 